another daily look no liquid foundation and no concealer but this is how it's going to look actually i'm on my way to get a haircut and uh, i did a little makeup so that the haircut looks nice after that and then i'm going to go for a lunch keeping both the occasions in mind i'm going to do a dark blue kajal look my face is already moisturized and my sunscreen everything is applied so i'm straight going in with my powder foundation and i can carry it with me and touch it up that way i don't have to bother about any liquid foundation or concealer if you need to use concealer that's different but this kind of makeup is also perfect for beginners i always contour the top of my eyelid with a neutral eye shadow this kind of gives your eye a basic definition without a lot of color blend it in well with a soft brush take it up to your crease line and if you have hooded eyes go further up otherwise the crease line is your guide as to where to stop i'm going to use a blue kajal on my waterline my lower waterline and i'm going to surely smudge it out this blue is not as bright as it looks it's looking bright because of my dressing table lights but when i take the pictures outside you'll see it's much more toned down but if you want to use a bright one go for it now take a pencil brush pencil brushes are available in all different brands choose one of your choice and see the way i'm smudging it out and see the difference between the two eyes i'll be out all day and the smudging will keep the kajal in place please use brands of makeup which are of your own choice these videos are mainly for the technique but if you want to buy what i've used i'm captioning them and they're available in tira beauty nykaa amazon and sephora anyway for daily looks i make sure i put a gel on my eyebrows so they don't move and i always complete my eye makeup with a mascara i repeat this in every video a mascara really completes the look beautifully and gives your face a beautiful feminine touch and um a lot of ladies really complain about or you know feel scared about how to remove it i would just say use a little coconut oil soften it and use baby wipes and you'll be sorted you know when i was making this video i thought i'm going for a hair trim but by the end of the video you'll see i actually chopped my hair off and honestly i am loving the change So at the end of the day a lot of people will have a lot of opinions but trust me when it comes to your looks or your makeup if you like what you see in the mirror that's all that matters Now lips as usual I always prime my lips with a new lip liner it makes my lipstick stay longer Then I'm using another lip liner to define my lips so that it matches the lipstick I use Today I'm just going to keep my lips matte and I'm not going to use a gloss because I'm out all day and uh, this should stay longer. I always use a little blush so that my face doesn't look flat and if you use it in the angle that I'm using it in your face will also look contoured without you using any other extra product to contour your face. I'm going to touch up my powder foundation wherever required and my makeup is done. Hope I'm making your makeup journey easy. I'll see you soon with some more easy looks and maybe some fancy ones too. Do subscribe and follow so that you know as soon as I upload another easy video. Till then, take care. If you're in Mumbai, do try Elton for a haircut and a color. I've been going to him for decades.